Welcome to Wildcat Sports Update. I'm your host, Jim Boyle, and I have the pleasure to in studio with me, have in studio with me today the uh, senior captains and one, four senior captains, one junior captain of the Wildcat women's soccer team. So please welcome Ashley Mercier, Molly McDonald, Nicole Morello, Jill Collins, and Emily Grace. I say welcome. So why don't we go right around? We'll start with you, Ashley. Um, what position you play, your name, what position you play, uh, how long you play for the high school? Uh, my name is Ashley Mercier. I'm a goalie and I've played four years on the varsity. Four years? My name is Molly McDonald. I'm a forward and I've played four years on the girls' soccer team. Um, I'm Nicole Morello. I'm a goalkeeper and I've been on the team for three years. Um, my name is Jill Collins. I'm a forward and I've played on the team for three years. My name is Emily Grace. I'm a defender and I've played on the team for four years. Okay, so we've got a lot of, lot of experience here in the studio with us. Uh, Molly, I'm going to start with you. Breakdown of the team. Um, for a lot of there are a lot of young players I know every year on the girls' soccer team. So how's it break down? Freshman, junior, senior, sophomore. Freshman. So there are seven seniors, um, plus our amazing team man manager Asha. So it makes eight, and then there are three juniors, Jill being one of them, and then I believe that there are eight sophomores, and then we have our lone freshman Emma Nolan, who we love dearly. Okay, so who are the three, seven seniors? Who are the two seniors who aren't with us today? The three seniors. Three sorry. seniors. Allie Ganley, who is uh, all over the place. She played forward, <laughs> defense mid. She was um, amazing. She played every position we needed to, her to. Lauren Parr, who is a defender and a midfielder, kind of in between. And then Julia Archer, who's um, a very strong midfielder as well. Okay, Jill, you're the junior. Who are the other juniors on the team? Um, there's two other juniors. One of them is Ariana Cook. She's kind of the same. She played defense, midfield, and forward, kind of depending on like what we needed in the game. Um, she's a very good player. And then Allie Del Genio, who played midfield and forward most of the time. Again, who wants to take the sophomores and freshmen? Emily, do you put those? For the sophomores in the back playing defense, Kate McDonald, who is like our holding center back and Lexi LeBlanc, who also played that, and Aaron McCarthy, who played left outside back. And then we had Abby Howie, who kind of played like the middle position, and then Charlotte Forciana, who played either of the outside backs. And then midfield, we had Allie McGillagott, Maeve White, and Lindsay Broussard. And I think that's it. Is that everybody? Yeah. We didn't miss any. That's good. Uh, so as we go around, uh, first of all, individual and team goals <coughs> for the season. So. Your goalie, Ashley, what were your individual goals and what did you have a goal for the team? Um, probably an individual goal was to try not let in like two goals per game. Um, like not yep. two goals per game. <laughs> and then <laughs> a team goal would probably be to make it past the first round. The first round. Molly? Um, I really wanted to score more goals than I did last year, which I did. And my, our team goal was, like Ashley said, to get past the first round of playoffs, which we have never done since we've all played at the high school, so that was really exciting. But it was also to um, finish with a 500 or over record, which we also did, so that was awesome. Okay, Nicole? Um, I think a personal goal for myself this year, um, to receive more playing time. Um, and I think a team goal is definitely to make it to playoffs, but um, make it past the first round. Okay, Jill? Um, I, my personal goal, I guess, would just be like getting used to a new position that I was put in this year and like score as much as I could. And team goal was also like making it to the playoffs and making it as far as we could. Right. My personal goal was to better like my offense because I play defense. So I wanted to be able to like bring the ball up more, which I think I accomplished. And our, my team goal was also to make it to the second round of playoffs and we did. Okay, so you're all, f we had five captains. Um, I'm going to reach, we're going to start with you, Emily. Uh, what, how do you see your role as a captain, um, and what do you see like the role of a captain on a high school team? I see my role as a captain as being vocal because I feel like I was very vocal throughout like the whole season in the back, kind of telling us like when the push up and like drop and all that. And I think just like a goal and like, no, sorry, a role in general for like any captain is just to be like, someone that you feel like comfortable going to or like someone you can like look up to on or off the field. Okay, Jill, same question. Um, I think my role as like a captain this year was more like lead by example, not as vocal because obviously I'm younger than the rest of the captains. And I think like a captain should just be someone who's able to lead the team in a positive way 
and that every girl on the team is like comfortable to talk to about anything. Okay, Nicole? Going along with what both they said, um, I would definitely say vocal. Um, I'm one of the goalkeepers on the team, so that's kind of my job to be very vocal and strong and loud in the back. Um, I think Emily helped me a lot with that this year, um, talking about our defense and whether to pull the line back or pull it forward or go to the ball. So um, I think definitely being vocal um, is one of my strong suits as a captain. Um, I also think being supportive, like they said, um, someone to come to on the team and for them to not be like shy to say anything or if they need something from either one of us. Um, so yeah. Okay, Molly. I think that um, my goal or my role on the team as a captain was definitely the intense one. Um, there were <laughs> a lot of times where um, you could definitely tell how passionate I was. And I think that as a captain, whether you show it or you don't, like everyone cares. But I think that I um, kind of used my role as captain to show how much I cared and whether it was good passion or bad passion. I think that um, as a captain, I was able to just um, motivate the team because of how invested I was and how invested we all are and I think that again like they said leading by example when the leaders of this team care it inspires and um, makes everyone want to care as well. Okay Ashley you drew the short straw because we've had four answers before you so just real briefly you're a goalie as well so um, goal of the goal as the captain or your role as a captain excuse me and really what's the and I think the goalie has an important role in the field and what would that be? So start with goals, roll up the captain first. I would say my role of the captain is probably just like get the team fired up and be loud. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a loud person. And as a goalie is, is, I've always been told the goalie really is helping to control at the defensive end. You've got to be very vocal anyway. So how do you perceive that role as a goaltender? I feel like I just try to talk to them and very calmly because like the second like a goalie starts yelling at you, it's going to like mess up your ga game. So I just tried to stay calm with them and like talk to them. Okay, so the formation that you guys played, does any, who wants to pick that one out? You may have Molly. We played a 5-3-2 this year, which was very different from what um, we've all been used to. We've played for, with a 4-4-3 and occasionally like a, a 5, a, like a 5-3-2, like occasionally we would switch to a 4-4-2, but, or if we were winning, we would put like five or six in the back just to make sure that they couldn't score. But um, we've never played with a formation like that throughout the whole season. So it was a lot of moving people around. Jill used to play midfield, so she got pushed up. Um, my sister Kate, she used to be a forward. She got pushed back to defense, like Emily said. So it was just a lot of people having to step up, even if they were underclassmen and forcing everyone to be kind of versatile and um, step into new roles. Okay, so for those non-soccer smart people like me, my, my son will tell you that at home. Five, three, two, who wants to take it on? Five is defense? Yeah. Yes. Three is midi? Mm -hmm. yes. Two is forward? Yeah. yeah. So who are, the, who are my forwards? So I'm going to let you, uh, you'll take the forward then. What's, what's the two, what's that role of the forward then in, in soccer? I think the role of the forward is that like after all of the defense and the midfield have like worked so hard to get the ball up to you, it's like kind of just to make the most of like the small amount of time that you can have the ball up there and like score as much as you can and make like plays that will better the team and like give us a better chance to win. Okay, so I'm going to make you the for the role of the midi, Molly. Um, what, what, <coughs> what, what, what is the midi? What's that? So Educate the uneducated. <laughs> the midfielder, I think, has one of, if not the hardest job in the entire um, game. You have to push up and play with the offense. You have to push back and play with the defense. You're forced to be everywhere all at everywhere all at once. You have to be well conditioned. You have to have a great first touch. You have to be an awesome passer. And so I think that our midfielders primarily were Ali Miguel Agat, Lauren Parr, Julia Archer. They did a great job pushing up and supporting the forwards, coming back, supporting the defense. It's just, it's a really important role and it kind of keeps the offense going, but it also keeps the defense going. Okay, and Emily, you were defense, so all you. The role of the defender is to like be smart with the ball and learn like to clear it, especially after like we've had the ball in the upper half and then it comes back to ours. We need to make sure that we're like smart with it and know how to clear it. And also this year, we started to communicate with the goalie before, which we like never really did in past seasons. Like we would pass back and like, or she'd pass back to us and we just had to like push it up. And we played more offensively this year, like our wings pushed okay, up. So I have two goalies in the group. We've already talked about the, the communication part of it, but um, Ashley, how did you become a goalie? Um, I feel like it was 
like fifth grade or something and I would always just like hop in net because I didn't have like the best foot skills so that was kind of where I like found my skill. Nicole, how did you become a goalie? Um, I think most of us here, maybe not Jill, but we all were a part of um, WFC which was like kind of Wilmington's um, club um, soccer league I guess you could call it. Um, we were like the first grade to start as seniors and um, that's kind of where I started playing goalie. I hopped in, I think, like one or two games, and I was like, oh, I kind of really like this. Um, and we were needing a goalie at the time. Um, I don't know if Ashley also played goalie then. I don't remember. But um, I, that's where I started playing, and I have played ever since. Okay, so we play soccer in Middlesex League, which is a pretty good league. There's a lot of good soccer town there. Um, who wants to take on the, just give me a quick summary of the uh, season. Any volunteers? I'll make you go, Ashley. Um... <laughs> Against like the Middlesex League? Just so overall, what the season was like. It was a good season. We ended. <laughs> Our I don't expect you to exact record because I wouldn't know. Nine, what seven, and three. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I feel like we did good in the Middlesex. We went. I guess I don't know. So <laughs> the Middlesex is divided between freedom and, freedom and liberty. Liberty of the big schools. What's it like playing, uh, Molly? What's it like yeah. playing against the big schools? It can be really, really tough and really frustrating when you're playing against a school that has double, triple, quadruple the population of our school. We're a pretty sc small school. And so going up te against teams like Winchester, like Arlington, like Lexington, where they just have so many kids and their soccer programs are just so strong because they're so well funded and because they just are able to like take, be, have a more selective program, it can be really difficult. and. I would say that with the exception of Winchester, which I think we were kind of just getting used to our formation, it was one of the first games of the season, it was a hot day, we had to walk a yeah. half mile <laughs> to get to the field, so we only had 15 minutes to warm up, with, but with the exception of that game, we only lost to those big schools by one goal, and we beat Reading, we tied Woburn, so I think that we're able to compete, which shows kind of, even though we are a super duper small school, there is so much skill and so much talent on the team. Okay, Emily, Freedom Division, which is the smaller schools, who was our main competition Freedom Division this year? I would say this year it was Melrose because they've just been good for the past couple of years. But like more like of our rivals were Stoneham, as they've just like we they've been our breast cancer game in the past, and we were able to beat them both times this year. But Melrose was definitely like our hardest game I think in the smaller league. And I think we played well against them, and we showed that we could compete with them. Okay, so we uh, the, the one sport I think at Wilmington that we were, I believe, we're very competitive in is girls soccer. We've had a really long history of success in the free in the Middlesex League, like you said, against even some of the bigger schools. So that success leads to making the playoffs. So Nicole, I'm gonna start with you. First mm -hmm. round of the playoffs, who do we play, and how'd that turn out? Mm -hmm. um, the first round of playoffs, we traveled to Belchertown. Um, which was like way up there in Massachusetts. Um, it was a two-hour bus drive, hour and 40. Um, it was a really good game. Um, we did really, really well. Uh, we won, which was really exciting. Um, I think a lot of us, they were placed uh, 14th, 16th, 14th. Um, we were 19th, so we definitely, um, there was different speculations of whether they were good or not, um, but I think a lot of us knew we could beat them and shut them down, and we did that, um, which was really exciting, um, and yeah. And Jill, guess what? You get the second playoff game, which where'd you go? <laughs> Hanover. Hanover. That's another long ride. Yeah. Not as long as Belchertown. And this is where the host gets interjected. I say this about all these. I, I, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of the MIA statewide tournament because every time Wilmington goes somewhere, we, go, we have to go long. I mean, we're not getting next door neighbors anymore. You guys went to Belchertown. Field hockey went to Falmouth. Football went to Foxborough. Two years ago, my baseball team went to go to Pittsfield, which is almost in New York State. So. You got to go to Hanover, which is a little closer than Belzertown, but you still have to go to the city. How, I, I know we didn't win the game, but how, did that go according to plan? How'd that go? Um, I think, in my opinion at least, it went almost like better than I had pictured it to because they were third seed, right? Yeah. And we were 19, so like a lot of girls probably thought we didn't have a chance at all, but going into the second half, we were tied 0-0, zero, zero, so we had competed with them very well and we only lost by two goals which isn't th isn't that bad which obviously we wish we could have won but we competed very well with them and I don't think anyone's mad with how we played that game. So I know Molly you had said the goal was to win the first round of playoffs which you did so what's the after having accomplished that what's the future look like 
uh, from your from on take all four seniors. What do you think the future looks like now after you won that first round? We'll start with you, Molly. For the rest of rest of the future, like not you guys are going to graduate right. and poor Jill's going to be all by herself, <laughs> sticking out like a sore thumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Go. <laughs> 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 um, the so when we graduate those incoming freshmen, a very strong freshman class. They're very technically skilled. They're fast. They're strong, they're agile, they're very good. So I think that, um, well, I don't want to say that we'll be easily replaced. I think that those girls will be able to step into our roles and the underclassmen on this team will also be able to step into, the, step into our roles. But um, I am very um, satisfied and I think excited to see what Alvi will do with our, or with the program because I think that, um, we all kind of experienced a certain side of Wilmington soccer, and Alvy sees it in a totally new perspective, which we've just never seen. And so I think that with his new perspective, with his ideas, his kind of coaching style, it will, I don't want to say it will be better, but I, I think that um, our advancement in the playoffs kind of speaks for itself, where we were able to progress when we haven't in the past. So I'm excited and eager to see where it will go. Okay, Ashley, I got two goaltenders sitting here with us. Our do we have a future goaltender who you guys must have played almost all year, I imagine. Yeah. So what's the future goaltending look like from your perspective? How do we replace um, you and Nicole is what I'm trying to say. I know that there's two goalies. One of them's gonna be a junior next year, Kirsten, and then there's gonna be a freshman named Jill. We do like goalie training with them. Okay. They both seem good, so I think they'll be good. Okay, so Nicole, what advice would you give those two coming into the varsity as becoming a varsity goaltender? Yeah, um, like Ashley said, we have goalkeeper training with them, so we get to see how they're like and how they train. Um, I would definitely say for both of them, just be vocal out there. Um, coming from my, I played on JV my first year as a freshman, so I'd say the transition from JV to um, varsity is a really whole different game. Um, you have to be vocal um, out on varsity. Um, the girls are stronger, the girls are bigger, um, and I would um, the advice I would give them is to definitely be vocal out there. Question for everyone. Um, Wilmington girls soccer is like a family affair, correct? How many of you guys have siblings that played? Emily, three, right? Okay, so you have a younger sister, and she'll play. She's a junior or sophomore? sophomore. <laughs> Jess was your older sister. Cass was another sister. So yeah. you got two, and you had? Maddie Grace. Maddie Grace, who, who I think I used to call her Grace Madison <laughs> yeah. in basketball. I got in trouble <laughs> for that one. That was actually the first show we ever did. Well, she was I on that show, so I, I, I do remember <laughs> that. She says, what, what did the play I play do wrong? Well, you kept saying my name wrong, so hopefully I don't call you Grace Emily. <laughs> uh, so you talk about Coach Alvin. You had a new coach this year. Um, what's something, I'm going to, each of you, what's something that you learned this year from Alvy? What's something that you'll take away, Ashley? Um. I learned how to, like, We can come back. How to like conquer change. Okay. Because like for three years, like I had Coach Andy, so it was like a completely different game. And then like switch like our formation and just like a completely different like style of coaching. Okay, perfect. Molly? I think my biggest takeaway from Alvi will be to go into everything with a clear mind and a like a blank slate. I, he always had this sense of optimism, whether it was a like a really tough game or a game we knew we would probably win. He always kind of went in it, went into the game, um, making us question if we would win or not, which could be kind of like deprecating at times. But it it made us realize that not everything is given to you, and you have to work for it, whether you're destined to lose or destined to win. Excellent, Nicole. I did have something, and now I forget. Okay. Um, we can come back. To yeah, you come back to me because I'll think of it. Jill? <laughs> tough to be on the spot here on the yeah. show. So. Um, I think I just learned like how important like leadership and teamwork is because he always talked about how like we needed leaders in every part of the game like no matter what age you were or how much playing time you got like being a leader and just showing the team like how everything works is really important and then teamwork in general just like always like communicating on the field and playing the part, playing your role that is needed at that time in the game, like, is really important. Okay, Emma? Basically, I agree with everything that everyone else said, but also that change can be good, because I feel like I've, I'm, like, a very 
very much so a creature of habit. So with going into like my senior year, like last year, a new coach, I was nervous for the outcome, but I was very happy with how we ended the season off. I got, I remember. Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> um, something Alvy would always say is catching Ws. That was one thing he would always say. Um, and I think whether you were, we were losing or winning, like there's always a way to come back. And even if coming back is still losing and um, not having like what you wanted the game to be like, um, there's always like somewhere to improve in the game. And so him saying catching Ws was like when I would go in second half, like that made me like encouraged to keep playing and like not give up and be strong in that back of the mat. Excellent. So now we get to the fun part of the program. We do the individual questioning. I'm going to start oh. back with Nicole since we <laughs> just ended with you. Uh, a past or or current teammate who's really helped or inspired you? Um, hmm. I would say uh, my little sister, Alan Yelgott. Um, she's been really encouraging the past two years. Um, I didn't play a lot my um, sophomore or junior year, so that was definitely um, disencouraging for me. And um, at times, I would get really down about that. But um, this year, getting a lot more playing time, um, which is great. Um, she's been a really big supporter. Um, and someone I look up to on the field and off the field. Okay, other th uh, sports or activities that you do at the high school? Um, really only soccer, I play club soccer, so I kind of do soccer all year round. Um, my sophomore year, I picked up lacrosse in the spring. Um, that was really, really fun, I enjoyed it a lot. Hoping to pick it back up um, for senior year. Okay, uh, favorite all-time soccer moment? Um, I would have to say my sophomore year, um, <laughs> we <laughs> traveled to uh, Silver Lake Regional High School for the second round of playoffs, or first round, first round? Yeah. 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 Um, we did end up losing, but the bus ride back was really, really hype. <laughs> Electric. Um, it was so fun. Um, Alex Kennedy joined us um, on that bus ride, and he was doing splits in the middle of the aisle. Um, it was wild. It was so much fun, though. Um, it was the senior's last game. So it was definitely a really memorable, a memorable moment for not only us, but also the seniors. Somebody who's influ a coach or another person who's influenced or you want to credit for you getting to this um, point? I would say all my goalkeeper coaches that I've had. Um, I mentioned I play club. I've had uh, three different goalkeeper coaches, and then um, we have goalkeeper coach Josie. Um, I think every goalkeeper coach I've had um, the past 12, 13, 14 years, um, they really helped me um, shape the player. Num the number field. you wear and why? Um, I'm 25. Um, I didn't get to pick the number. It was just what was given to me because that was the goalkeeper jersey number. Um, but I've grown to love the number. Um, at first, I didn't like it so much, but I've gotten a liking to it now. And what are you going to miss the most? Um, team dinners, um, bus rides. Definitely team dinners are really fun, um, great bonding experience, especially for the underclassmen. Um, yeah. What are you gonna, um, what's the future hold for Nicole Marilla? Um, hoping to attend college. Um, I want to <laughs> major in, if I get in. <laughs> hoping to major in um, sports, media, and marketing, maybe um, minor in communications, mm -hmm. and hopefully playing soccer in college, whether it's um, through NCAA level or club. Perfect. Jill, you're next, first and former teammate that uh, <coughs> you like to credit or help influence you. Okay, I would probably say my sister Jess because I came onto the team as a freshman and she was a junior and I didn't really know anyone as well and she kind of like showed me like how the team worked and all the upperclassmen like liked me because my sister was on the team so it kind of like gave me a really good freshman year and like gave me a lot of good friendships that I have now. Okay, um, what number do you wear and why? I wear number five, and um, Jess and Cass would probably like to take credit on why I wear that, because they chose that number first, but <laughs> I have just always worn it, and I think it looks good, so. Excellent. <laughs> and uh, what other things do you do at high school? I play basketball and lacrosse. Okay, and somebody who has influenced, somebody other than your sisters who, who influenced you or you want to credit for getting to this far? I'm um, going to keep it with the family. My dad coached me all through my younger years. He coached my club team when I was in middle school, and he kind of showed me, like he gave me a different perspective on the field than like any other coach has ever given me, and I think he, I could give a lot of credit on the player I am now to him. Favorite top, right now, as of now, a top soccer moment all time? I, <laughs> no doubt, 
commerce last year <laughs> playing game. I oh, don't think anything in my life has ever been as fun as that day because they I think definitely. everyone here knows that yeah, it was just an amazing down. game. I would <laughs> relive that any day. And real quickly, what are you going to miss about the, these four captains? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to miss, they were all here my freshman year and obviously we're the same, like one grade apart, so I've played all my years here with them and I honestly just think I'm going to miss like all the friendships I've made with all of them because they've been the only ones on the team with me my entire time. Excellent. Emily, uh, person, former teammate, current teammate that uh, you really liked, uh, you looked up to helped you along the way? All the defenders that graduated last year, so Cameron Forsyth, Cassidy Smith, and Colleen Baldy because I was the only junior and they were all seniors so it really helped me to like step up and like fill in the role that I was going to be next year as a senior so I look up to them a lot. Okay other things you do at the high school? I run track in the winter and spring. Anything else? Any other activities besides sports? I have to ask because there's I get yelled at if I don't home. Uh, peer mentor <laughs> club. <laughs> there you go, peer mentor club. See? NHS. Uh, NHS. Club. You should be proud of NHS. Those things, that's other things. We're just not a sports show. We want to give, we want to show people what you guys are, what really happens with athletes at the high school, which is really good. Uh, number you're wearing, why? I wear six, and freshman year, it was me and Molly, and there were like three jerseys left, and I was like, okay, I'll pick six, and I've stuck with it since. Okay, favorite all-time moment? When I scored in commerce as a defender. Okay, good. And uh, somebody you coach or, or another person who influenced you got you to hear? My sister, because she's always been like one step ahead of me, so I've always like looked up to her and wanted to do what she's done. And my club coach, Mike, because he was just, he was a good club coach. Yeah, he was unreal. And what are, you gonna, uh, what are you gonna miss the most? Just like the atmosphere and being with all the girls. And future for Emily Grace? go to college and I plan to study nursing. Okay. Ashley, the first question I'm going to ask you is completely irrelevant. Do you watch yourself on uh, WCTV and what do you think of the commentator? Um, commentator is really good. It's my dad and yeah, I do watch myself. Yeah, and do you criticize yourself or do you uh, um, just watch for the fun of it to <laughs> listen to your, your dad's commentary? <laughs> I watch to like see what I can prove for like future okay. games. But. Just to, just real quick from WCTV, shout out to Mike Mercer, uh, Ashley's father. He's covered a lot of games over the last couple <laughs> of years, and I know he's going on to do hockey. And we just need volunteers like that. And a real big shout out to Mike to step up and and do it, so these girls will have future memories online. So we'll get back to who influenced you, uh, former teammate. Uh, I would current. definitely say uh, Audrey Curdo. When I got on the team, she was a junior, and she just kind of like welcomed me in and. We've been best friends ever since. Okay, other other activities at the high school? Hockey. Hockey? Yeah. And um, favorite moment all time? Uh, I'd probably say the game versus Belcher Town because like, we've never got past the first round, so it was exciting. Anybody that you want to, who's influenced coaches, parent, anybody that's influenced you want to credit? Sisters, brothers? Uh, my dad, probably, because he's coached me in hockey and soccer throughout the whole year, and he's helped out a lot with the WCTV. Yeah, and number you wear and why? Um, number one. I mean, I like the number, but it was the only other option. That seems like everybody gets that in high school. You get a number, you get stuck with. What are you going to miss the most? Uh, like Emily said, probably the atmosphere and just like the presence of all the girls and like being with all like my teammates and coaches. What's the future look like for Ashley Mercy? Definitely go to college, maybe play hockey there, like for club and yeah, Excellent. Molly, last one, uh, a teammate that you can look up to to really helped you along the way. Um, I'm gonna say I say my younger sister Kate. I think she kind of grounds me. I can get re like I said, I get really, really into the game and a little bit crazy sometimes. And so um, it's nice to have a comforting presence, especially family on and off the field, because she just knows that like even though I like him acting kind of irrationally, she can calm me down and just get me level-headed. Other things that you do at the high school? Um, I run track spring and winter. I also am. The class president, president of NHS, and then the secretary of the Rotary Club. Okay, favorite moment all time, soccer. Um, I think all of my like soccer game moments have been mentioned, but this year, Alvy dressed up for Halloween, <laughs> and I I still don't know what he was. It, he kind of had like a headless horseman esque costume, but he had a soccer ball on his head, and we were all questioning, "Where's Alvy? Where's Alvy?" Because he just hadn't showed up to to practice, 
and we look up <laughs> in the booth and Thriller by Michael Jackson starts to blast and he just started dancing at the top of the bleachers and that was, that was awesome. Great. Um, coaches or people who influence that you like to credit? Um, I would have to say both my parents. My mom really doesn't know much about soccer but she still hauled hour, two hours, three hours, Maine, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, wherever we had games and my dad he just has like a Understand, understanding and knowledge of soccer that he can give me an outside perspective. He gives me a spectator perspective that just has helped me with my game and yeah. Okay, what are you going to miss the most? Um, I'm, I think just the ability to have such a supportive group of girls. Um, not all of us are friends, but not all of us are best friends, but I think that from late August to early November we just are able to come together and act like best friends and even if we go our separate ways throughout the rest of the year like at the end of the day we all are still connected through soccer and I just I don't think I'm gonna be able to find something like that after this. Okay what's the future hole for Molly McDonald's? Um, like they all said go to college um, I'm going on a pre-law track so see law school four years and then hopefully an attorney. Okay, perfect. Now comes my favorite moment of the show. Uh, you guys all get to give a shout out. Don't forget anybody because we can't re we can't retape this. So Molly, you're going to start. Look straight into the camera right over here. Okay. Give a shout out to whoever you want. This shout out goes to my grandfather, Lawrence McDonald. He was at every single game. I could hear him every single game. Your passion is unmatched. Thank you, Grandpa. Okay, Ashley. Um, Don't forget anybody though. My shout out goes to my parents for always supporting me. Okay. Emily? My shout out goes to my parents, my siblings, and my grandmother who tuned in and watched every home game on her iPad. <laughs> Jill, you get the shout out. Um, my shout out goes to my grandfather because since my oldest sister has been on the team, he has not missed a game. And even if he has to miss one, he makes sure to give me a call and I tell him every last detail. Okay, Nicole? Um, my shout out goes to my dad. Um, he's attended every game. Um, since pre-K, um, he comes right after work. Um, so yeah, my shout out goes to him. And you, anybody else, any, forget anybody before we go on? I think so. Awesome. All right, so I, I really want to thank you guys, Ashley Mercier, uh, Molly McDonald, Nicole Morello, Jill Collins, Emily Grace, thank you for coming on. It's great to have representatives of the high school speak so well and our, show off our athletes the way they really are. So thank you for coming on board. So for Wildcat Sports Update, I'm your host, Jim Boyle, and we'll see you on down the road.